Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Dogcraft. My name is Stacy and I am joined as always by the Minecraft versions of my real life dogs, Paige, Molly, and Polly. And today is our Halloween spooktacular. That's right, this is our awesome Halloween episode where we celebrate the holiday. I have a texture pack on that's making my world all scary and we have got to finish the haunted house ride for the dogs. Uh, so I need some armor because what we need to do, it's all done, we just need the actual haunts. So, oh look how cool my diamond armor looks. I'm going to need to armor up because I'm gonna need to try to get a spider and a zombie uh, and maybe another spider into the haunted house and then a witch if we can find one. Uh, a lot of you guys have been saying that there's been one uh, around the world of Dogcraft ever since we saw it that one time what was that like four or five episodes ago over by Honey Moo Moo's Milk? Uh, milk Toast, how do I look? <gasps> look how scary I look! This isn't my costume, I'm gonna put on my costume later, but this is pretty creepy. I bet I could scare some of my animals. Let's um, let's try to scare Milk Toast. Boo! No? Nothing Milk Toast? Okay, um all right, guys, I'm going to come back for you later, and I'll bring you all over to the uh, the fall area. Um, but Pumpkin, Paige, sit down for now, please. Oh, Paige got out. Molly, I saw what you tried to do. Okay, Paige, uh, you stay there. You can guard for trick-or-treaters or zombies. Uh, ooh, let's, uh, let's go out and take a look at my world. These doors are super cool. Uh, now, my jack-o'-lanterns have mysteriously reappeared. Uh, they're not in the exact same position, but I guess I won't really talk to Madeline about that. Alright, let's kill you guys. We don't want any creepers here on our Halloween episode. Oh no! Oh, I'm out of arrows. Oh, I'm out of arrows. This is bad. This is bad. Run, Stacy! Whoa, I have a chainsaw! I have a chainsaw for a sword. That's right. Oh, where'd you come from? Okay, and die. Whew! Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, now that I've taken care of that, uh, look at my world in the texture pack. Everything looks so cool. We should check on Butch, our new villager, Butch. Oh, he's there. And uh, Asparagus, my zombie horse, I moved over to the Quonset. A lot of you guys didn't remember Asparagus, but he was, um, he showed up about six months ago, maybe? Or maybe it was longer than that. <gasps> Look at everything. It looks so cool and spooky. And it's really dark still. I keep adding lampposts, but it's never enough. Um, okay, I need to... Was that a bat I just saw? I haven't seen as many, but I thought I saw one. Um, hello, dog guard. How are all my dogs? I need to check on them, actually. Because... I saw some comments that there was actually a witch up here on the second floor of the bark. I'm not sure if the dog guard guards against witches, but that's crazy if that happened. That should not be the case. Um, I don't see anything up here. Um, I'm afraid that a witch would poison one of my dogs, which would be horrible. Uh, but it looks like they are all here and accounted for. So I need to grab my name tags. Ouch! And I need to name... I need name tags so that when I catch the hostile mobs, my plan is to use my notch apple, my enchanted golden apple, and my diamond armor to be able to withstand the attacks from the zombies and the spiders. Um, I went through the comments, and the first one I'm going to name is a zombie named Mr. Brains, which I thought was really cute. Uh, and then one of the spiders I am going to name Cobweb. Or cobwebs. Cobwebs. That's so cute. Uh, and then, do I have... I don't have enough levels to name the rest of the... Oh, hello. Hi. You'll give me some levels. I guess I have to kill a bunch of mobs uh, in order to get five levels so that I can name the last spider. And I need you over at my haunted house, but I can't... I can't bring you all the way over there. Uh, asparagus, let's ride. Maybe I'll be able to get the levels quicker if I ride asparagus. Look how scary we are. My zombie horse. Can my zombie horse die? I just noticed he has health. You would think a zombie horse couldn't really die. I mean, zombies, I guess, can die. Uh, oh, skeletons. That's the last thing I wanted to run into. Uh, okay, I don't think asparagus is taking any damage so far. That spider dropped up. <gasps> you hit asparagus! 
That uh, spider dropped a pumpkin spice spider eye, and you dropped a pumpkin spice bone. Thank you very much. Later, I want to get pumpkin spice bones and bring them to all the dogs that can't come um, to the... Oh, boy. Okay, hold on. To the festivities. Let's kill these guys. Not too bad. Oh, look, he's holding a hand. There we go. Please die. Thank you. We have five levels. That's enough. I don't need to kill you, but I... Oh, hey, hey, ah! What in the world was that? Another zombie spawned, but he had a helmet on, and so it was... Oh, that was terrifying. Wait, what is going on? Huh. That was... Zombies kept spawning in after another. I've heard that that can happen, but that was terrifying. Okay, Asparagus, let's just... um. Let's put you back, and I now have the levels needed uh, to name the last spider, which is right here. We need to kill this guy, though. Oh, no. Please die. And there's a skeleton over there. Don't shoot. Don't shoot, Joey. Okay. No. Yeah, shoot me. Shoot me. That's fine. All right. Oh, I think these guys are all stuck in the cobwebs. That's funny. <laughs> oh, look how terrifying they look with the armor on. Huh. Yep, all right. You guys can stay stuck in there. Oh, go away. Did I get any more um Did I get any more arrows from killing skeletons? I did. Yes. Okay. Die. Thank you. Ooh, look at the moon. That's so creepy. Um all right. Let's hurry up. We are losing nighttime actually. That that's oh no. I might have to wait till a new cycle because I don't want my zombie I don't want to finally get a zombie all the way over to the haunted house and then have him burn to death. Uh, so the last spider I'm going to name really simple. If I have cobwebs, I should have string, right? <laughs> uh, so Mr. Brains, cobwebs, and string. Uh, sounds about right to me, dog guard. Let's, um, oh, what are we going to do with the night cycle? It's almost becoming day. I kind of feel like, oh, maybe now is when I should make my purchases. Do I have my gold, though? Where's my gold? I must have put my gold away. All right, I'm going to have to get my gold so that I can make all the pumpkin spice bone purchases. I want to give them to all the dogs. I'm not going to be able to bring every dog over to the corn maze. I'll bring maybe like 10 or 12 or maybe 15. Um, but of course I'm going to have to bring... Oh, look, the doggy door is a television. That's cool. I like the birch wood in this texture pack. Um, I will bring a stack of gold uh, to take to Madeline. Apparently I overpaid her in the last episode. Okay, let's try to scare the wolves. Boo! <laughs> Noah. <laughs> you guys, you guys are so cool. Not that you guys are super chill. Uh, all right, well, I guess you guys uh, want some steak, maybe? No, I'm going to eat the steak, but I will give you guys... I think I'm going to leave you guys here, actually, uh, while I go and do the haunted house stuff. Uh, in the morning uh, or do you think I have enough time now like if I oh why aren't you thank you for hitting me in why aren't you oh ah! why aren't you over at my haunted house that's where I need you to be do you think if I go over there right now even though it's becoming day it's quite shady over there so maybe there would be uh, a few zombies and spiders that I could quickly just lure in there's a zombie in my Quonset uh, lure into the um into the haunted ride I'm it's worth a shot I feel like uh, but while we're going over there I would like to know what you guys are dressing up for uh, for Halloween this year so leave me a comment I would love to know um, and I've, I've seen some people on Twitter who have even dressed up as me with a dog and what are these bushes these are the creepiest bushes I've ever seen. Ah, that was that was creepy. Bushes. Um. Anyway, make sure to either uh, tag me on Instagram or uh, on Twitter uh, if you have a picture uh, of a Halloween costume where you are actually dressed up as me, because I would love to see those and and like them and retweet them and share them. Maybe even a future episode of Dogcraft. Um. Okay, I've got my enchanted apple. I have my bucket of milk in case I get poisoned by a witch. Um, and I have my armor on. So I think, how are we going to do this? I don't know. This is a little, 
This is going to be tricky, um, but I'm pretty sure the ride is 100% ready to go. I just need to put down, um, oh wait, yes, I have the black stained glass, and I have my enchanted shears, so if I, no, oh, oh, I need a rail for there, um, but let me, I think I have it figured out with the, the redstone, or the, the powered rails, here we go. So, hit the powered rail here, then that whips us along here pretty fast. Oh wait, I got stuck there. I think I need to move that glass back. I'm not supposed to get stuck there. Huh, I think it's the glass or something. It's making it too tight of a turn. Um, so if I break it with my, ow! If I break it with my silk touch shears. Oh wait, that, that powered rail came undone. Oh, maybe because I put the glass there. Well, where's the redstone torch then? Hmm. I don't have any, but they're all around the corn maze, actually, so I can just grab one from, I'll just grab one from right here. They look really creepy in this texture pack with the skull. It's perfect. I'm going to scare the dog so much. Uh, there we go. Now it's powered. Um, I'm not sure if it was the glass or the fact that it just wasn't powered, so let's give it a try. Uh, up. Okay. It's either the cobwebs or the glass. Um, I'll have to remove them, uh, but then you come through here the zombie I think will be here uh, And then you kind of come out and you see the haunted corn maze uh, And you'll see all the dogs going through there I added these armor stands here, which I thought were pretty spooky and then this is the corner where I'd like to have a witch uh, If we can find one When it becomes night again, I think it'd be pretty cool And then the creeper head is there the dolls are there and then look I found these jackal uh, not jack-o-lanterns jack-in-the-boxes that are really creepy too. Uh, and then the ride completes uh, here. And it will just keep going around or I can, you know, have the dogs hop off. Oh, there's a zombie. Hey, come in the shade. Come in the shade. Come here, stop burning. Stop burning, please. Maybe you could be Mr. Brains. Ouch. Uh, let's see if I can not eat my apple yet. I don't wanna eat my apple during the day. Come up here, dude. No, you're burning again. You had a chance. I could have, oh, he's in a minecart. <gasps> oh my gosh, that could be such a brilliant, oh, he died. But that, oh, there's another zombie. Oh, hi, uh, the minecart thing could be such a brilliant way to get him into the ride. Oh, you caught on fire, sir. Can you do nothing right? Uh, but I'm, I'm serious, this minecart thing might work for getting them up where I need them to be. Come in here, you could maybe still be saved. Why isn't he following me? Oh, he died. I feel like maybe it's, oh, look at his hand. <laughs> Ew, with the bone, that's so gross. Um, I feel like maybe they don't wanna come in with only two blocks door height. Well, that doesn't make sense. Huh. All right, we're gonna have to try to get two spiders in here. Uh, the zombie up there. Oh, and the witch I don't have a name tag for. Huh. Um, all right, I think, I think we can start with the spiders and the zombies pretty easily. I guess if I see a witch, I'll have to just name her like cobwebs or string, uh, if I see one, cause they're a little bit more rare than zombies or spiders. So I'm just going to go ahead, I think, and wait until it is night and then try to get the hostile mobs we need for the haunted house. All right, I'll be back. Okay, it is nighttime, and it is time. Um, to, you can see me now. Uh, it's time to, well, ugh, those creepy bushes. It's time to, to trap some spiders and a zombie. Uh, so let's quickly come, oh wait, is there a creeper up? There's a creeper in the haunted house. Are you kidding me? That's not the creeper head, that is an actual creeper. Is it dark enough for things to spawn? Wait, where would it spawn? Because everything is a... Um, is a, they can't spawn on rails, can they? Oh man, do I have arrows? Because, yeah, because there's no way I'm going up there and blowing up the haunted house. Oh, look at his head, what is, what is that? He is super possessed, huh? All right, sir, this would be the worst part. Where'd he go? Oh, he's going through. He's going through the haunted house. 
this is not for you. This is for the dogs. Typical dog craft creepers. You have to come out here so I can shoot you, please. I'm not coming up there. I'm not falling for it. Because what will happen is I won't be able to back up and he'll blow up my entire haunted house. So I'm going to have to lure him out. Uh, oh, oh, here you come. You found your way out. Uh, okay, don't fall in, Stacy. Come over here. Yes. Where are you going? What do you... Oh, you can go through there? Are you in the trees? Where are you? Oh, there you are. Uh, okay, come over here. And let me kill you. Come here. I don't want you in the haunted maze either. All right. Come down. There you go. <gasps> oh, I see another one in the distance. My goodness. Oh, the maze is getting haunted, though. That's good for the dogs. Uh, as long as I'm not in the maze, uh, the mobs will just spook them, but they won't actually attack the dogs, uh, which is good. So I want the maze to get filled, actually, with, like, skeletons and zombies and chickens, I guess. All right, how am I going to do this? A creeper's going to explode, isn't it? I don't... Oh, no! Oh, man! Now I'm in the maze. Let me... Where's the skeleton? I know you're in... Here you are. Ooh, this is spooky. Okay. Oh, the corn maze is so cool. It's kind of sad I only get to come once a year, really. But it's fun when I do. I'm glad I built it. Uh, and if you didn't see the episode where I built it, actually, um, I guess maybe I'll put it in this episode in the little corner uh, where the eye is, maybe. Uh, it spells out, go rescue a dog, which is pretty cool. Uh, I love corn mazes. They're really popular when I was growing up uh, where I lived. Uh, okay, let's... Let's try not to kill or try not to explode any of you guys because I don't want to have to repair my corn maze. Where's that? Uh oh. Oh boy. Yeah, there you are. Oh, you have armor too. Die. Die. Where there's a creeper over here somewhere too. No, no, no. Get back, get back, get back. No, don't don't. Ugh, I'm gonna have to fix this before the dogs use it. Dumb creeper. Spoiling all my Halloween fun. <sighs> Let me try to pick up some of this hay bales. I'll have to get some from home, too. Um, all right. Pumpkin patches or pumpkins patch is ready, at least, for people to go, like, apple picking or dogs. Uh, and pumpkin picking, the corn maze, after I do that wall repair, will be ready. I think there's a couple places where the... the chickens have probably eaten the wheat or stomped it um but i'm not too worried about that i'm mostly worried about getting the haunts into the haunted house so that the dogs have that when they come over oh where's the zombie <gasps> oh zombie villager i don't think i don't think i want to put you in the haunted house because it's too sad like it would just be like why don't we heal him like we just healed butch you know so, I need a real zombie, and hopefully not a baby zombie, because why? Um, all right, let's, let's see. Oh, there's a skeleton. I mean, we could, if we could get a skeleton up there, I guess I wouldn't mind a skeleton versus a zombie. Like, they're both equally kind of scary to dogs. Oh, ow, ow. Ow. Okay. Okay. It's not really hurting me, though, because of my armor and the enchanted golden apple. So come on. Come on, skeleton. Come up here. Walk up here, please. Can you do it? I should have put you in the minecart. No, 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 no. Come up here. Come up here. Why'd you go down there? These skeletons, they can't properly track you. I need to get him on the rails so I can plop him in the minecart. Um, I hear a zombie, too, but I don't see him anywhere. Come on, guys. I've got to, uh, Halloween is fast approaching. I've got to get this happen. Okay, come here. Come here. Come on this thing. And then I can put you. Oh, no. Come on. Walk up here. <sighs> I actually am starting to take a little bit of damage. Can I push him in? I'm going to have to hit you, sir. I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this. I don't even have a name tag for you. Please don't kill me. Oh, my goodness. This is, yeah, okay. You are not my friend. Oh! Oh, hi! 
Hey, you're in here! And you have armor and you look cool! And the skeleton's in here now too! Hey, this is perfect! I can just, um, hold on, let me come up here so that they stay there and get my black stained glass. And I can just trap them in here and that would work out fine! Uh, okay. Um, let me just build the glass here. Please don't kill me. Please don't- Oh, don't kill the zombie! Skeleton, please! Oh no, now they're fighting! No, 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 no! No! Here, let me get the glass. Do not- Look, luckily he has armor though, because I don't think the skeleton is going to be able to kill him um, easily with the armor. Okay, that's kind of weird. I might have to fix this. Oh yeah, I definitely messed that up. Uh, Alright, we've got a zombie and a skeleton trapped in our haunted house. We don't have a spider yet, uh, but I'm actually pretty pleased with you guys. I guess I have to name tag you though, so you don't despawn. Um, so I can name tag Mr. Brains, obviously, but then I guess should my spider, or no, should my skeleton be cobwebs or string? I mean, his bone does have, or his bow does have string, but maybe I'll name him cobwebs? I'm not sure. Um, string seems to fit for a spider better. It's so dark in here. Okay, I have patched you up. And you are fully enclosed. So now I just need to break through and name tag you guys so you don't despawn. Oh, look, you pushed him into the cobwebs. Maybe I will name you cobwebs. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's get... Don't, don't shoot him. Don't shoot Mr. Brains. There we go. Cobwebs. Okay, get away. Get away, don't shoot me, don't shoot me. Okay, yeah, you get stuck in the cobwebs, cobwebs. And then Mr. Brains, come over here, Mr. Brains. Push Mr. Brains, there we go. Oh, I name tagged him, it disappeared. Uh, I can't see it, but it must be, I must have name tagged him. Yay, our haunted house is definitely haunted now. Oh, all right, so I might need to work on the spider. I might need to get one of these guys upstairs to that other room. Um, and so I'm going to go ahead and work on that now, and I will be right back. Oh, ow. All right, I am back. Uh, my armor didn't break, by the way. I just took it off. Uh, but I have been somewhat successful and somewhat unsuccessful. Uh, I have managed to get cobwebs upstairs, uh, and Mr. Brains is isolated. Wait, there was a witch in there. I just saw a witch in there. She's right there. I've got to get her. I've got to trap her in. She's exactly in the spot that I want her to be at. Where'd she go? Did she disappear? I've got to get over there. Oh, this dumb, this dumb maze. Uh, okay, this is the way. Oh, my goodness. That would be so perfect. Let me get out my milk in case she poisons me. And then I can trap her in the black glass. I can then go get a name tag. Uh, which? Hello? Wait. Oh, what? She was right here before. She's not here now. Cobwebs. I put a cobweb down there. Uh, man. Oh, she must have despawned. That. Oh, that was so close. That was such a good opportunity. Uh, by the way, spiders can't go in here because they're one block. So we lost string. Sadly, string became string. Um. Yeah, <laughs> but I can just put like um, some of the mini spiders that I have from DecoCraft in there uh, because we're running out of time. The sun is, is setting soon and it's Halloween. We've got to bring all the dogs over and I've got to change into my costume too. So I'm going to go back and do that right now. All right. As many of you know, I am Mabel Pines this year for Halloween from Gravity Falls. Uh, do you like my costume? Thank you very much. Okay, so it is officially Halloween. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween, Madeline. Happy Halloween, Croissant. I am here to purchase your pumpkin spice dog bones. I want to buy quite a few of them, actually, because I've already brought a lot of the dogs over to the Halloween area, but, for instance, all the dogs in the Dalmatian Plantation and all of Paige's kids and a lot of the dogs from the bark probably aren't going to come. So I figured this would be like a fun way for them to go like trick-or-treating in reverse and I would just bring them the dog bones. So 
five. So if I take a whole row, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, uh, bones. They're one gold nugget each. That's easy. So I will just give you 45 gold nuggets. Uh, and now I have 45 dog bones, which actually, now that I think about it, the Dalmatian plantation has 101 dogs in it. No, 99. Uh, let me take another whole row. Another 45. Okay, that's 90. So that should be enough, actually. Um, and then I'm going to take some fish. Uh, because I've got to leave a fish for Stampy, uh, who's in Tomcat Towers. Um, so there, I will give you five gold nuggets for a pumpkin spiced fish. Not sure where you got the inspiration for that, Madeline. Not everything should be pumpkin spice, you know? Um, but, you know, I'm excited to see that you're mixing it up at your barkery, I guess. Croissant, there's a pumpkin spice dog bone. Uh, had you given him one, Madeline? Not sure. Anyway, all right, let's start with the dogs at the bark. Hello, dog guard, taking a bath. Uh, let's go ahead and give one here to Sirius. Wait, that's not Sirius. That's Huckleberry in Sirius's pen. Uh, to Strudel, to Violet, and to Susie. Uh, there you go. They're stuck in that cobweb. Uh, here you go, Sage. Here you go, Dobby. Here you go, uh, little Lulu and little uh, Tito and Pixel. You get a bone. I took Charlie over. Um, let's go ahead and give Droplet and Splat, our regular wolves, uh, two bones because, you know, they're big wolves. So you guys get two bones. Good, 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 good. Uh, and then upstairs, all these dogs. Uh, we've got Georgette, you get a bone. Tate, you get a bone. Bo, I feel like Oprah. You get a bone. Apple, you get a bone. Uh, Angus gets a bone. Misty gets a bone. Homer gets a bone. Natella gets a bone. And then quickly over to the other side. Uh, I hope you guys like them. Uh, I hope I'm trusting that Madeline that the pumpkin soy dog bones. I think those would actually be really good. My dogs love pumpkin. Um, at dog food stores, a lot of times you can buy pumpkin puree, uh, especially this time of year, and you can put like a scoop of pumpkin puree unsweetened on top of their dog food, and they generally like it. And it's supposed to settle their stomachs. Uh, and help their digestive systems. So I don't know if pumpkin spice dog bones actually exist. Well, not the spice part, but I think like, I I, I made pumpkin dog biscuits one time. And there's an, actually a really good story behind that that involves a black French bulldog named Walter. Um, do I have time to tell this story right now? Okay, so listen, I made these pumpkin dog biscuits one time. This is about five years ago. Paige loved them. I brought them to my coworker, and he had a, a French bulldog named Walter, and I gave them to him to go home and give to Walter. Well, when I got home that day, I noticed that they were kind of, they were wetter dog biscuits. They hadn't really dried all the way. They were kind of spongy uh, because of the pumpkin, and they had actually molded a bit. And so I texted him and I said, you know, maybe don't give your dog those dog biscuits. I'm gonna make a fresh batch, and I'll bring those tomorrow. Um, and he texted back and he said, I'm actually at the vet with, with Walter. He's going in for emergency stomach surgery. And I thought, oh my gosh, I have killed my coworker's dog, Walter. I am the worst person in the world. And he didn't really write me back because he was so concerned for his dog. So I spent like hours thinking I had killed his dog, but it turns out his dog had swallowed a pine cone and he needed surgery to remove the stuck pine cone. Uh, go in guys, go into the maze. First dog out gets a special treat, uh, pumpkin spice pork chop. They're not going in, go in. Uh, but anyway, he had swallowed a pine cone like weeks ago and the pine cone was finally trying to go through his stomach into his intestines and he almost died. Uh, they had to do emergency surgery and get the pine cone out. I'm not really sure why he bit a pine cone. Um, but anyway, I thought I almost killed him with my pumpkin dog biscuits. Wow, the maze is easy in F5 mode. How have I not figured this out before? <laughs> um, I don't know if any of the dogs, this chicken's gonna win again. I don't know if any of the dogs are gonna, who's gonna win this year? <gasps> Ooh, Enderman, Enderman. It really, oh, look, I think it's Luna. I think Luna's got a, 
a pretty big lead. It really is a haunted corn maze now that we have an Enderman. Hi, can I just kind of get through here? Thank you. Uh, look at this, Paige and Molly are, I thought Polly would prefer the corn maze. Paige and Molly are riding the ride. Look at them go. Are you guys so scared? This is so much fun. And you guys over here, the cats, uh, dog and, and milk toast and all my wolves and the Enderman. <gasps> Look at that. Let's watch them go through again. Oh, hi, Paige. Hi. Oh, hi, Molly. <laughs> this is so funny. Oh, I hope they like it. And I hope they're not getting too scared by Mr. Brains and Cobwebs. Oh, look, I see Paige up there riding through. And then I think Molly goes right after her. Wait a minute. They should be coming out by now. Where are my dogs? <gasps> What happened? No, 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 Mr. Brains, no, cobwebs, I gotta ride the ride, I gotta find them. What happened? They got stuck somewhere, they should have come out. It didn't take that long. Uh, cobwebs, what do you know? Did you do anything? No? Okay, they're not here. Paige, Molly, where are they? Did they already beat me out to the other- <gasps> Ah! Whoa, that wasn't there before. Oh, Paige, Molly. <gasps> a witch. Hey, it's you. I've been seeing you around here. Wait, no, no, no. You come back. Hold on. I'll shoot. Wait. Why aren't you attacking me? I've never had a witch not throw a potion at me before. <gasps> hey, what's wrong? What's... Oh, what is this? Oh, a little cupboard and a, a dog bed. <gasps> you want a puppy, don't you? And you don't have a dog already? That's why you've been hanging around my world is because you want a dog? Well, if I give you a dog, can I have Paige and Molly back? Because they're my dogs. Okay. Um, I'm going to just trust you on this, witch. Uh, I think I saw your name was Hazel. I'm just going gonna, gonna to trust you on this. And I'm going to get you a dog. I'm going to bring you, maybe I'll make a new puppy, and I'll bring the witch a brand new puppy, and hopefully she's a nice witch, and she's not actually going to do anything to Paige and Molly. I'm taking a bit of a risk here, guys, um, because she could have just been lying to me, but I'm thinking, if, I, if I'm right, she just wants a dog, and she didn't know how to get one on her own, and if I can bring her a dog, then she'll be really happy, and, uh... And hopefully she won't hang around the bark anymore. What kind of a dog should I bring her? I'm not really sure. Maybe, um, maybe like a black dog? Like a... <gasps> oh my gosh. Run, Stacy. Oh no. Run, 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 run. That is too many mobs. Oh, this is creepy. Oh, it's definitely Halloween night here in Dogcraft. Oh, please, please, please let me in. Dog guard. You need to you need to have a bigger perimeter that you patrol at night. Um, okay, I'm thinking I don't want to give her any of my current dogs. I'm thinking we breed a puppy, maybe the Bernie's Mountain dog, uh, Angus and Misty. No, Ang yeah, Angus and Misty. Maybe they could have a puppy, and I could make it a purple collar, and I could give her a leash too because she'll probably need that. And I think. That would be cute. This is exciting. We've never made a puppy with one of the new breeds before. I'll need some biscuits to tame the puppy so that I can put the collar on and take her over to, to Hazel's secret hideout. Uh, all right, let's make the purple collar. There it is. I noticed that she had like a purple motif going on with like the bed. So I think purple would probably be the best for the puppy. Um, all right, I've got two cookies. So Angus and Misty. I feel like this could be a good witch dog, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea what kind of a dog she wants. <gasps> oh, look! It's so little! Oh, it's so cute! Hi! Hi! I'm gonna name you... Oh, you didn't have... Ah, oh, I need more biscuits! I can't believe that. How many more biscuits should I take? I need a few so that this doesn't happen again. Oh my goodness unbelievable little puppy um all right i already have a name picked out already though for you i'm gonna name you from a comment that i got 
Uh, so let me give you this biscuit. Hopefully you only need one more. Nope, two, there we go. I am going to name you Claudia with a W. So it's like claws, like a witch's claws. Uh, or dog's claws, basically, is probably a little bit more uh, correct. Uh, okay, Claudia, you're going to have to be very brave for a puppy, Claudia, and you're going to have to leave your mom um, because I'm going to have to take you uh, through quite a few mobs um, to get to where we need to be. Oh, I don't think we want to go that way. Oh, you teleported. That's nice. Um, I think we want to come this way. Uh, I'm not really sure. Maybe, maybe we should go this way. Maybe it could be better and safer for you. Oh, no, there's a zombie and a spider. Um, all right, let's go the way that we came. Dog guard, could you cover us, maybe? No? Um, all right, Claudia. This is, this is it. Let's run. Run, Claudia, run. Run, 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 little puppy. Just keep going. Just run past all the scary things. You're new to the world. Uh, it's not usually like this. It just happens to be Halloween. Uh, so let's run quickly, quickly, quickly through here. You're so small. Uh, oh, you're going to have to kind of sneak past these. Oh, you just grew up. Are you kidding? Your puppyhood literally lasted like 30 seconds, Claudia. You know, I wonder if that's part of the mod because these dogs are actually really fierce uh, guard dogs. And I wonder if they grow up if, if you're in danger so that they can protect you. Well, that's kind of a bummer. You were so cute as a puppy. I mean, you're cute now, but uh, I kind of wanted to give Hazel you as a puppy because uh, I don't want her to try to come after Paige or Molly again. Uh, but you know what? We'll just, we'll just not really tell her about that. Uh, um, or, you know, maybe, maybe we'll show her this video and she can reminisce on how cute you were when you were a puppy. Um, Hazel, I have a, a dog for you. She was real cute as a puppy. Um, but she's real cute now. Oh, look how happy she is. Oh, yay. All right, guys. Well, I hope you have a really good Halloween. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Dogcraft. I'm going to take Paige and Molly back if that's okay now. Uh, anyway, Paige and Molly love you. Go rescue a dog.